back off and leave them alone. That is the message being delivered to 31 towns and cities across Colorado who are trying to figure out what to do about panhandlers. Plenty of panhandlers lay claim to street corners all across our state. And there are plenty of opinions about this, so we're going 360 with Russell Haythorne. Yeah, you've all seen them, men, women, young and old, begging for money. And this is where a lot of opinions intersect. On one corner, the ACLU is fighting for panhandler rights. Venture to a different corner, and many say the trash, the impression it leaves on tourists, is all bad for Colorado. Down the street, homeless advocates argue this is an ethical issue. Up the hill, a convicted felon says it's better than a life of crime. So our story begins early in the morning with someone who's says he just needs help. Six days a week, Leon Allen makes this walk, this daily hustle. I've been doing this for like almost 10 years now. It's his version of work. Okay, it really, really helps out, yeah, it really does. Panhandling on a street corner. Oh, anything helps, you know, that's how the sign works, anything at all. Just to make it day to day. Thank you. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't, I would starve pretty much. It's not how this Navy vet ever pictured his future. I never imagined this life. He works the corner at 6th and Colorado. And this side's better because you're facing the drivers themselves. Panhandling is an issue that stirs up all kinds of emotions. Some don't like the begging, the trash, and the image it gives our city. I don't usually give them money because I'm afraid they'll use it for drugs and alcohol. Caitlin Boyd no. doesn't either. Because I work hard for my money. <laughs> <laughs> they should do the same. They don't want to see poor people. Ben Hunting is with Homeless Out Loud. It's as simple as that. And he's frankly sick and tired of how we treat panhandlers. Every time panhandling laws get brought before the federal courts, the federal courts strike these laws down. It is something cities and towns in Colorado and across the country have struggled with. Just do a quick Google search and you find headline after headline, cities struggling to regulate it. As long as these antiquated ordinances remained on the books, they could be used um, to uh, harass people who were um, not doing anything wrong. Mark Silverstein is with the ACLU Colorado. It recently sent letters to 31 cities and towns in Colorado demanding they lift their bans on panhandling. That's expression that's protected by the First Amendment. No different, the ACLU argues. Thank you so Thank much you. for your donation. Than the firefighter boot campaign every fall. But many city leaders say there must be a balance. They argue begging gives cities a black eye and there should be places like tourist destinations and neighborhoods that are off limits. What we'll have to do is find other ways to keep our community welcoming and open and safe. Oh, God bless you, sir. I love you. Have a great day. Greeley recently passed an ordinance, then changed it to a ban on aggressive panhandling. Scored three bucks. There are aggressive ones that ruin it for everybody. Fortunately, we still have a couple of ordinances that we can use. Advocates for the poor and homeless you know, say... When our response to our failure for public service is the police it? We got a problem as a community. Hunting says the vast majority of panhandlers have few options because of health, physical limitations, and the affordable housing crisis. Why, when 60% of our homeless community is working, why can't they afford a place to live? If worst comes to work, I just wave at everybody. For Leon, they always wave back. It's a means to an end. There's like a stupid cracker. For the record, he's not homeless. He has a home, a trailer, that crackers. costs him the majority of his social security check. I rent 650, my check is like 750. So I get, I have $100 left over for food, water, lights, gas. A convicted thief. He says this is a more honest way to earn a living. I'm actually on the corner making the money myself. I feel better about myself because I'm doing it honestly for once. So he comes here. Thank you very much. Is that, is that a foreign coin? Is that a coin with that one? And begs for anything you can it. spare. Okay, a token I have it. for a car wash. I love all kinds of wisdom. <laughs> a car wash token. It was the thought that counted. Russell Haythorne. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. Denver 7. <laughs> And so many of you are already talking about this on our Denver 7 Facebook and Twitter pages. So if your viewpoint didn't make our story, join the conversation right now. You can also email us 360 at thedenverchannel.com. We read all your responses to our stories.